good morning and welcome in. I am the Canadian trucker Rudy and I am here with Diego. I'm trucker's Rudy's son. Well, thank you guys for joining my channel and stay tuned for the rest of my day. truck stop up here and look at that right here this is the sign they got up here for a skill I don't see any English at all on it but they do have a truck on there and they got flashing lights so I suppose that's good enough for them yeah. anyways we got some more rain overnight now we are going to make our way towards uh, New Hampshire. Yeah, what do we got up there? That almost looks like a police. Because I've seen them police up here with... They got the sign on top that comes up and then they got the arrow going on and everything. But this might be actually a construction worker. But they do everything to totally different up here what, than what they do up in uh, the other provinces as far as I've seen. Let's take a look. Yeah, this looks more like a construction guy. Yeah, that's a construction guy. I've seen a cop like cops like that up here in Quebec that got the sign that chilled up like that. <laughs> this is weird, but yeah, well, different for sure. Got the Walmart up here. Yeah, Canadian Tire. Oh well. Yeah. So let's have ourselves a great day. Thank you guys for joining me on my journey today. And uh, right, guys, we just had ourselves a uh, little bit of a pit stop up here in Quebec somewhere on Highway 17 don't ask me where I'm at I don't know even if I knew <laughs> I marked it in my logbook with the GPS GPS says where I'm at but I can't pronounce it None of these names I can't pronounce but anyways it's been a gorgeous day so far Got me a couple of hours worth of driving behind me now. Probably got another, I don't know, maybe two hours to, to Montreal. We'll see if we uh, will actually drive through Montreal today. But this gorgeous scenery up here, I mean, look at this. Living right up there on the mountain. Oh, got a little river up here, huh? That's probably why everybody is living up here, eh? Yeah, look at that, even a little bit of rocks up there as well. Oh, somebody is fishing down there with his dog up there. Yep. It just said that they don't want to speak English to you. Uh, this one waitress up here, she just refused to speak English to me. That's just kind of sad. really doesn't know English or if she just doesn't want to speak English but it's sad to see you know it's Canada and uh, these guys they don't want to speak English oh well and off of that let's get out of here and let's see how Quebec, uh, Montreal is going to be uh, later on today hopefully the traffic won't be too terrible but I suspect it will. Alrighty we'll guys, we are sort of creeping into Montreal. Yeah, slowly and surely. And so far 
there, we're keeping our fingers crossed. Not too bad traffic yet. But eventually that's going to change. <laughs> Already seeing a little bit of traffic. Since we are right now going into town, it's alright. But coming out on the other side is going to be the problem. <laughs> yes. I texted JP yesterday, JP Mallet, and I told him that I was going to go through Montreal. And he's all excited. He says he's going to definitely watch this video or these videos for me going through here. So I figure I better make sure that I do record something. <laughs> Hopefully, some of these roads will. Uh, bring some memories back to him we are right now on uh, road 30 I mean uh, 13 and I don't really know where we're all gonna go but says the GPS says right now to go on to 40 there you go now you know I know, I'm pretty sure he's familiar with Odd 40. That's uh, almost a given. And I know he's familiar with uh, 20. Okay, gotta stay to the left up here. Yeah, and everything is in French too, which doesn't help me any. Keep to the left oh boy. On 40 East yeah, this 40 intersection is always a mess. Look at that here, I don't know if you can be, yeah, I think you should be able to see that over the bridge there. It's the same way we were probably going to go on to. <laughs> it tells, yeah, it tells me to go in here. 40. Just look at that, right there to the right. Everything is pretty high traffic. Yeah, this is the regular road that a lot of people come into when they come in from Toronto. Continue on this road for six kilometers. Yeah, this is just the beginning of Quebec or Montreal, I meant to say. I keep saying Quebec for some odd reason, I don't know. Everything is French up here, so I don't understand half of what's going on, but. Any bis, we're gonna try and show you a little bit of Montreal. I hope you guys don't mind. I'm doing it for a very, very special friend. I bet uh, he's gonna like it. See a little bit of Montreal, a little bit of his history and background. As you guys can see here to the left, that's on the, on the way out of Montreal. Uh, it looks like bumper to bumper traffic. That's what it's gonna be on the other side for me. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's five o'clock here, just about right now. So I bet you by the time we get to the other side, we will be in heavy duty rush hour traffic. Oh yeah. Anyways, that's the here way it go, goes. Guys, this is what I was telling you guys. I probably only got about five, five kilometers down the road when I ran into this traffic, but what I wanted to show you is all the black clouds that we see up there in the distance. I can almost guarantee you that we will be getting some rain here pretty quick. Oh yeah, we're gonna go on to uh, 15 and 10, and the ultimate goal is to get onto a highway 10 somewhere. Two hundred meters towards the left. Take off 15 south on 10 Montreal. And that Highway 10 is going to take us over to uh, Highway 55, and that's where we're going to go south into the state. United States, yep. We're going to go on to U. Uh, uh, not US. Uh, we're going to go on to I uh, 91, I believe it is. Yep. And we might be going through a tunnel. I know I've gone through some of these areas here before and 
sometimes I go on to the tunnel I, I can't remember which highway that is but sometimes you go on to a tunnel and some other times you go over on the bridge and it's a fairly big uh, lake up there and there's actually a tunnel that takes you right underneath the lake You're going underneath the lake to go, to go through the tunnel You're, the tunnel is underneath the lake <laughs> so we'll keep our eyes open and see where we're actually going to go but we definitely have hit the rush hour that's for sure i think jp if you look at this you probably know this area this is really super super old highways right here looks like that overpass right there looks like it's been shut down for a while looks like they're in repair right now but this is a really really old part old part of the highway so this is usually really rough up here but i see uh montreal city right up there so you're not going to be able to see it too well looks like brand new or big buildings way up there some bigger buildings up there too but that looks pretty pretty congested up there yeah this is a uh, usually a really rough stretch of highway look at them old buildings up here to the right that is probably a really old part of Montreal yeah anyways we're cruising along and bumping and up and down <laughs> I guess but hey it's actually not been too bad so far I suspected it being worse to come through here but it actually hasn't been too bad. At least so far. Well, yeah, I guess now we're turning a little bit, so you might be able to see the big city up there. I guess I spoke too soon. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh, that's the way it goes, eh? You say something, and the next thing you know, you're stepping on the brakes. A little tiny river going through town, I guess. Yeah, I remember this part. I think this part is usually pretty backed up even during the daytime up here. Well, it looks like the rain is creeping this way. It looks like even up there by the town, uh, the big city up there. I can already see the rain coming down. But any minute now, we're going to get some rain. That's for sure. Oh well. We're inside, we're staying dry. Here we go guys, what did I tell you? We were gonna get some rain. Yeah. And unfortunately we are going above the river or lake, whatever you wanna call it. And so we're not going to go through the tunnel, I suppose. But no matter what, it's still gorgeous, at least to some of you. I love seeing water, <laughs> no question about it. You got this thing here, on that side the bus, they can go in that lane over there. And uh, they better pretty much have no traffic because they built that lane just for them. Yep. But that's the way it is up here in Montreal. been a bit of a traffic going on here for the last little while but oh, it seems to be clearing up a little bit yeah I don't know how far I'll get tonight I really didn't need to go through Montreal today but because I really don't have a lot of miles left for tomorrow <laughs> I don't know, I might have about five hours left for tomorrow right now if I stop right here. It'll be about five hours probably of driving time for tomorrow. So I don't really have to go through here, but I am anyways. I figured uh, I'll at least get through here and then we're done with that part. And then I guess once we are through, we will see if we can find ourselves a truck stop. And if we can find ourselves a truck stop up here somewhere, we'll 
pull her in and call it a day. I'm only have 645 kilometers in right now, yeah, which is a little more than 300 miles. It's probably like 300. I say about 300. Uh, 70, 80, 370, 380 miles probably that I've gotten in right now. So it's not been a very busy day either, but all right, I guess we better slow her down. Yes. I don't know what's going on on this lane. Every other lane is moving pretty fast, but as I was saying, it hasn't, you know, hasn't been a very long day for me yet, but that's because I had four days pretty much to get to my delivery place and only 2,800 kilometers, so we can do about, well, in Canada we could probably do over 1,100 up here in Ontario kilometers per day, so I would have really only needed about three days to get here. If I was really scratching it <laughs> and they gave me four days oh well better than not having enough time and be really stressed over how are we going to get there on time right so let's continue on rolling and we'll see how far we get hey guys we are here in the uh, east side of Montreal we uh, got to a truck stop and I wanted to show you guys this truck now this is a really really super long base truck but I don't know how guys can sleep in a tiny 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 bunk like that I don't know you tell me anyways I'm fixing to go inside and take care of some business just stopped over here for a minute ago so just figured I'd show you guys this truck a little bit and uh, yeah so uh, it's been raining here for a while so don't want to get the camera too wet walking around to the other side or whatever but anyways we'll be back in a bit. behind me that day is gonna come 